So if you ever searched on YouTube for videos related to Amazon product research, then you probably heard gurus saying things like this. So here, set the maximum reviews to 300. Reviews is how we determine how competitive a niche is. So you wanna find niches that have low competition. Niches where most of the listings have a lot of reviews will be much more difficult and expensive to break into. Review count. I always like to have some reviews in the products that I am trying to sell because products with way too many reviews are obviously saturated. So an ideal review count is totally up to you, but I like to start at five and let's put in 500. In this video, I'm gonna explain why this is absolutely terrible advice. Why looking for products with low reviews is not how you should be doing Amazon FBA product research and what you should be doing instead. So there's two key reasons why this is such terrible advice. So the first reason is, is that it can actually lead you to go into niches where you can lose a lot of money. So let me show you a quick example. So earlier this year, we had a lot of people messaging us about these wrap organizers that go inside your kitchen drawers. So basically people were following the advice from gurus telling them to search for niches and products that have got high revenue and low reviews. The logic is, is that they're low competition. And for some reason towards the end of 2021, this particular niche and product, it came out of absolutely nowhere. Surprise, motherfucker. So you can see here the search volume for the main keyword, which is foil and plastic wrap organizer. It was at around a thousand searches per month. And then all of a sudden it absolutely exploded and it hit over 60,000 monthly searches at its peak. I think potentially what happened with this product is that it went viral on something like TikTok, and then a lot of people ended up going to Amazon to search for it. So around this time, you've got a lot of people using things like Helium 10 to do product research, and a lot of people came across this product and this niche, and in particular, they came across a brand called Space Aid. So Space Aid had a few different versions of this product and they all had under 300 reviews, but they were doing hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month in revenue. So what do you think happened? So people were like, wow, this niche is crazy at low competition. This brand are absolutely killing it and they barely got any reviews. So within three or four months, there was literally hundreds more sellers in this niche all selling the exact same product. So you can see here that when Space Aid first launched, they were actually selling this for $62. And over time, what they've done is they've reduced the price down and down because more people have entered the niche and it's become more competitive. So now they're selling this product for $25. So this is the big danger with using this terrible strategy that a lot of other gurus are teaching you on YouTube. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find a new emerging niche with big demand and low reviews. But by the time you get your product to market, the price is absolutely tanked and there's hundreds if not thousands of new sellers that are all doing the exact same thing as you. So the second reason why this is terrible advice is it's teaching you to look at the wrong things. It's teaching you to do product research in the wrong way. So if the only reason that you can compete in a niche is because everybody has low reviews, it means that you're not doing enough to differentiate your product and offer more value to the customer. All right, so here's what you need to be doing instead. Forget about reviews. I know there is some truth that it's an indication of how competitive a niche is. If you look at a niche and every top 10 seller in there, they've got you know, 15,000, 20,000 reviews, then it probably is gonna be difficult to compete with them. But the level of competition that you can take on is always relative to how well you've differentiated your product. So what you should be focusing on is understanding exactly what the customer is looking for and how well what's currently on offer is meeting those needs. All right, so let's imagine we line up five different products, right? We put them all in a row. Four of those products, they've got over 2000 reviews each. They've got a lot of reviews. Now the fifth product, it only has five reviews, but it offers something that the others don't. So maybe it's a better design that's more aesthetically or functionally pleasing. Maybe it's the quality of the materials. Maybe they've been upgraded. Maybe the visual branding is just so damn good that people perceive it to be of higher value. My point with this is, is the way that you win at Amazon is by standing out versus the competition, by offering more value and understanding exactly what the customer will be attracted to, and then doing a better job of attracting that customer than your competitors. So you don't win at Amazon by finding niches with low review counts and launching the same product as everyone else. So we literally know multiple people that fell for this trap with the foil organizer and they've all lost their money. All right, so now that you understand why searching for products with low reviews is a bad idea and why you should stop listening to these gurus that teach that as a strategy, 
Go and check out this video where I did 45 minutes of live product research.